Hi there. What's up, guys? Keizu Keto. And uh, we are doing a five day egg fast. Starting today. Starting today. And you might be wondering, as Greg was wondering. Yeah. I what is an egg fast? She kept me in the dark, guys. She's like, we're doing an egg fast. I'm like, sweet. What does that mean? So, let's put all the disclaimers in the beginning. We are not healthcare professionals in any manner. No. This is our own experiment as, to date, egg fast diets have not been scientifically studied. We're doing a little preparations for later because if you haven't guessed, I'm very much a fly by the seat of my pants person. He's the planner. This was my idea, so it was all on me. So we're prepping now. And now I don't know anything about it still. So <laughs> although He's, I know I can make eat eggs and we don't have any of the pre-made hard boiled eggs. So I have uh, if you heard yeah. a little hissing sound, that's because I'm making hard boiled eggs because today was miserable. I'm making a quiche that's going to be done in less than three minutes. Hopefully, this is the first time I've ever made a quiche, so we'll see how it turns out. Getting back to the what's and why's and how's and... Yeah, so what's this supposed to do? Questions. Like, why are we doing this? Is so, this like basically, the egg fast diet is eating primarily whole eggs. So, the yolk and the white, not one uh -oh. or the other. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. The yolk and the white and... Stacy doesn't eat the yolks. A fat. So oils. like cheese or butter. Butter. That's your what primary about, what thing. What about bacon? No. That's not it. Uh, bacon is not. Nope. You could do bacon fat. Oh, I just dip my eggs in the bacon fat. That sounds yummy. You can cook them in the bacon fat. Oh, hey. Could do that. Okay, so our hard boiled eggs are done on the pressure cooker. Ninja Foodie review may be coming at some point. Who knows? But anyway, um, after you do them in the pressure cooker, you are also supposed to take them directly out of there and put them in an ice bath so that the shells will pop off like your girlfriend's underwear at a prom. <laughs> so anyway, it is a short-term diet, three to five days. Of course, go big or go home, we're doing the five. Yay, me. For the first time, because that's how I roll. Yeah. Um, it is kind of a restricted keto diet because it is still the high carb, low fat. It you just, just said high carb, low fat. Scratch that, reverse it. High fat, low carb. <laughs> it's not recommended to go any longer than the three to five days. So we're gonna ice bath them for four minutes. And then let's check and see if we did it right and if the shells pop right off. The reason why people do the, the egg fast diet is because they are either brand new to keto and have not started yet. It can help them get into ketosis. Okay. Because well, you're basically getting rid of all carbs except for the one that you get. Exactly. Okay. Yes. So, so the egg diet's kind of like a modified version of the carnivore diet, right? Yeah, kind of in a way, cause you, but you're having cheese instead of meat. Well, eggs are technically meat too. Whatever. We're not going to go down there. Just ask a vegan. It can also help you break through a weight loss plateau. And we've kind of been experiencing that a little bit. Like I've been up and down, up and down, up and down. You've been taking antibiotics. Frustrated you with it. A break on that. It's not really your fault. Yeah, but we've been talking about doing this. And the funny thing is, is this morning, because I told him, make sure you weigh yourself so we can weigh ourselves today, which is Tuesday, and again on Sunday after the end of the five days. So we weighed ourselves this morning. Here's screenshots of our weight. And then we'll show you again on Sunday and see where we're at. The how of it, I guess, basically, is that it um, reduces the number of foods that you intake. Okay. Which, um... That's more like the why, isn't it? No, that's the how. Because this is the how it makes you lose weight or how it gets you into ketosis. Okay. So it's reducing the number, the number of different foods that you're eating intaking or putting into your body so okay. it can slash your calories can and slash your calories as in, reduce as in the number it's of not calories. Ex it's not a absolutely going to because it depends on how many calories you were eating to begin with it doesn't it doesn't focus on the calories some people say yes you absolutely should focus on your calories this 
doesn't say one way or the other whether you should. I see people in both camps where they say it doesn't matter what the calories are. Other people are very stuck to that calorie number. So are we stuck to so the calorie number? I'm not stuck to the calorie number. Okay, so we're not stuck to the calorie number, guys. You can be stuck to the calorie what number. What we're going to do then is we're going to basically eat eggs if we're hungry, and if we're not hungry, we're going to stop eating. All right, so here we go. How's that? Greg's going to continue deshelling the eggs. Um, anyway, however, most people, so this is, we'll see where we're at with this. Most people say that they lose between five and 10 pounds in three to five days. Very good. Perfect. Chalky inside. Nope. Want to try it? Not right now. Oh, that's so good. Here are the rules. And these rules, of course, can be modified to whatever you need, however you see fit. I think we are modifying, not I think, we are modifying it a little bit just because this is our first egg fast um, and not real sure what to expect with it. So while I like to jump in whole hog, sometimes I don't like to jump in whole hog. So you have to eat the whole egg, which is the, as I mentioned before, the white and the yolk. You have to have a tablespoon of health, healthy fat or butter per egg that you eat. Um, it says you're supposed to eat one whole egg within 30 minutes of waking up. I don't think we're gonna do that. It also says you're supposed to eat an egg-based meal every three to five hours, and we have been doing the intermittent fasting, so I don't really see the reason for us to do that. I think that would work better for someone that, you know, is maybe just starting ketosis or trying to get into ketosis or um, maybe isn't doing intermittent fasting, it'd probably be better for them. Um, it also says to eat even if you're not hungry, and that's not something I subscribe to. I say if you're not hungry, don't eat. I mean, you obviously need to get in all your nutritional value for the day, um, so just be conscious of what you're eating and when to try and make sure you get all that in. So he started this morning. Hey guys, what's up, Greg here. So egg fast day one got Bulletproof coffee, and Stacy made these little eggy things. Kind of weird, but very cinnamony. She definitely put a lot of cinnamon in these things. So, eh, edible. And she cooked me breakfast, guys. Awesome. And he did not eat all three of those. Um, he only ate two, and he felt full, so he stopped eating, which I think is. And then I had a piece fine. of cheese at like 4 o'clock. Quiche is done. So it's just a plain old cheese and egg quiche. You can have up to one ounce of cheese per egg, which is my favorite part of it. There are 12, 12 eggs in this quiche, along with eight ounces of cheddar cheese, four ounces of cream cheese, and 12 tablespoons of butter. We'll see how it tastes after it cools off. Um, it says eat at least six eggs a day. So I think as of right now, I am actually at six between my omelet and the egg muffin things. What are you at? Uh, I just had one. So yeah. just the one? Two. Oh, but you had the two egg muffins this morning, so I think that that's three then, if you're gonna eat that and you already had the other one. So that's like so, three and a half? No, I think it's just three. But we also have the quiche, right? Yeah, and we have the quiche, which I don't, it's 12 eggs, so I don't know how many is in a serving. So 12 eggs and eight ounces. If you eat a quarter of it, that would be Four eggs. three eggs. Three eggs. But it is- And two ounces of cheese. So it's six servings, which would be two eggs per serving. Two eggs and, and... an ounce and whatever per cheese. So there's the Plus half the, and half. It'd be... So it's two eggs, there's 12 tablespoons of butter, which means it's two tablespoons of butter per... Oh wow, that's a lot of butter. ...serving. If you cut it into six, which you did... I cut four, so we can only go four or eight. I guess do eight then. I don't know how to math. He doesn't know how to cut. I don't think I've ever had quiche. 
and I, as I mentioned, it. I've never made it. So I have no idea if this is actually done. No, it's done. If it's going to taste any good. Well, that is the question. I'd like to know where the name Quiche came from because it's such a weird name, but it's actually kind of fun to say. Quiche. Quiche, quiche, quiche. quiche. We didn't have shredded cheese. Um, so I took a block of cheese and I threw it in the food processor. It and didn't shred it. it, it balled it. You can see the um, weird little balls. Hey, my pants are up. Um, it says you should, should stop eating three hours before bedtime. I do agree with that because from a podcast I listen to, it takes three hours for your body to, or your stomach to process your food. So then that way you're not going to bed with all that going on and it doesn't disrupt your sleep and you can actually get good sleep. Then the last one is you can have up to three cans of diet soda per day. The benefit that you're supposed to receive from this is it can reduce your appetite because eggs are very filling because of the protein, which I have kind of noticed that because I'm actually not really hungry right now, but I still, I want to try the quiche. So I'm going to have a little bit of it. Um, it can also, as we've talked about, it can help you lose weight. It can help um, with belly fat loss, like the visceral fat that's around your midsection. You are supposed to have that to a degree. And then it can also help reduce your insulin resistance, the risks and side effects. So if you're new to keto and you're using this as a way to get into ketosis, you're likely going to have the keto flu and you're going to feel like crap for a few days. It goes away. It can cause constipation because you are reducing the um, fiber rich foods that you would normally be eating like vegetables and things like that. So for that, drink a lot of water. It can reduce your nutritional deficiencies. So you'll want to make sure you're taking a multivitamin or make sure you got your supplements going. Starting with today, we're going to have little clips, little video clips that we're taking separately and together as the week goes on or the five days go on. Um, showing you what we ate and hopefully giving you some ideas of some things that you can make if you do an egg fast. Could if you do a stall or something, something you can try. So do you feel adequately knowledged? I know it's not your level of research. Not even close. But I feel like I know a lot more now than when we started the video. <laughs> but I feel like I had to pull a lot of it out of her guys. What do you guys think? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, quiche time. So, adding a little turmeric salt on the top. Uh, we got this in a butcher box. No, we, we, did not get we got this in a keto box. Keto, keto box, which we should have another one of those coming soon. It's very clustery. The middle is... Gelatinous. Yeah, it looks like pudding, like a really thick pudding, and I'm a little put off by it. But it tastes really freaking good. Oh my god! The Seriously, no, like just the, the, taste, the texture. texture. Yeah, the texture is right. The texture is amazing. Custardy. It's like the cheese actually turned into like a crust. The crust. Yeah. Like sank to the bottom. Well, you start out with cheese on the bottom, hmm. and then you pour the egg stuff on top, the egg mixture, and then you sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top of it. But I think all that cheese sunk to the bottom too. But holy crap, I will definitely be making this again. Which is awesome, because she never cooked. But I want to add other things to it. Well, yeah, when you're not doing an egg fast. Yeah, so, like we can add meat to it, we can add vegetables to it. And it'd be kind of an all-in-one meal. All-in-one meal, the are. I think we should do this for a Sunday night with our friends. I think Stacy should cook for our friends. I think that's a great idea. I like it. Okay, so that's the end of day one of the egg fast. When we originally recorded, we were going to put everything all in one video, and then we decided it would be too long. Look for part two, days two through five, and conclusion coming up. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, and stay keto. Oh, I guess I'm not allowed to stay in that position. Now I'm not allowed to stay in this position. <laughs>